Thanksgiving's coming and there's one thing that every single Thanksgiving dinner needs to have and that is a pumpkin pie. But for those of us who are allergic to dairy or if you're vegan or you don't eat dairy, it's kind of difficult because pumpkin pie is made out of a custard and it, you know, you can't go to the store and buy one that's dairy free. So on the show today, we're going to make our own homemade pumpkin pie and our version is going to be dairy free. If you can eat dairy or you prefer dairy, I'll show you what you need to do to make this exact pie with just dairy. But today ours is going to be completely dairy free. So join me as we make my dairy free pumpkin pie. Okay, so we're gonna make our filling first. I have a homemade pie crust. It's in the refrigerator. Um, I'm gonna take it out and I'm gonna let it slightly come up to temperature before we um, um, bake it. My pie dish is a deep dish pie dish. It's a Emile Henra uh, pie dish. And if you are using just a store-bought crust, you wanna just do a single batch of this. My pie dish is so deep that I need a double batch of it. And I might have a little bit extra, but I'm using two cans. I can't use just a partial can of pumpkin pumpkin. So if you're using just a basic pie crust from out of the, um, the refrigerator or your freezer section, you're just going to use one of these. Now, in terms of it being dairy free, if you use the ones out of the refrigerator, you have to make sure that you get an all shortening crust. If you're uh, making it yourself, which is the best way, you can make it an all shortening crust. So we're gonna put two cans of pumpkin in here. Obviously, if you're making a regular size pie, you're just gonna use one can. But my pie is so, it's such a deep dish pie and Every time I make a single batch of anything, it doesn't, it's not enough. So this might end up being a little bit more, but I'm going to use the extra and maybe do a few little hand pies or something. We'll see what I can come up with that. Okay, so I have a cup and a half of sugar. And obviously if you're doing a single, you're just going to do three quarters of a cup. We have four eggs, which would just be two eggs, right? If you're just doing a single batch. And I am going to spice it up with four tea, four and a half teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice. You can spice this however you want. If you want to use cinnamon, cloves, all that kind of stuff. I buy this from Penzi's and it's delicious. You can get pumpkin pie spice um, pretty much at any grocery store. So instead of the usual um, like sweetened condensed milk or condensed milk. This is what we have to substitute in terms of it being dairy free. And what I like to use is this Califia Farms dairy free better half. It's basically like creamer, except it's dairy free. This is coconut cream and almond cream mixed together. And I think it has like a little bit of an emulsifier, a thickener in it. A um, little thicker than just putting like cashew or almond milk in it. Um, you can get this. I get this at my local organic store. If you can't find it, you can all just use like cashew. And so you pretty much want two cups of this. This is 16.9 ounces, so it's pretty close. So I'm just going for the whole container. Mm, it smells delicious. And we're just going to whisk this and combine it. That smells 
Yeah, good. Get your old grubby little nose in there. Health inspector. Uh -huh. I want to get healthy. So now we're ready for our pie. Okay, so we are ready to go. We have our pie filling here. It's all mixed together. Here is my pie crust. Like I said, if you're using a store-bought pie, you're going to make this in half. I'm probably going to have some extra, but that's just how it goes because my pie dish is really deep. And also, I just prefer a homemade pie crust. If you want to know how to make a pie crust, I'll put a link down in the description about how I make my pie crust. Um, the edge is like rustic, right? That's all we have to say. So let's see if we can pour this in here. I've got a um, parchment lined um, jelly roll pan just so I don't want it to spill over in my oven. And we'll go ahead and pour this in. Mm. Yum. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> that looks like a pumpkin pie, guys. I only have a little tiny bit left, a very, very little tiny bit left. So we're pretty much good to go. So since this is a deep dish, it's really going to depend on your individual pie plate. We're going to put this in the oven at 425 for about 15 minutes. Then we're going to drop the heat and we're going to bake it. We're going to start checking it at 45 minutes out. And we want the crust done and the filling. The filling will be done, but it'll be a little jiggly when we go like this. It'll jiggle a little bit in the middle and um, then it'll be done. So let's uh, get this in the oven because I want some pie. Okay, our pie is out of the oven and we pretty much cooked it at 425 for 15 minutes. We lowered it down to 350 and we cooked it for basically an hour. One of the things I can tell you is it gets really jiggly in the middle. So you sort of have to judge. It's gonna be a little jiggly in the middle because it'll finish off on the stove we cooked it a little too long and when you do that you get a little split in the middle of it i really don't care because i'll eat it anyway so we had a little bit of extra filling so i took my little mini spring form pans i put a little pie crust in there and i put the extra in there so i made these little mini pies they look a little um rough but hey i'm gonna eat them right and so is eric so let's cut us a little piece of pie uh, or a big piece of pie looks good even if it is cracked right yum okay let me see if i can get this out see the difference is this pie's got a crack in it but this is a homemade pie this is your pie right mm -hmm. this is whoa well, I just cracked it worse. <laughs> and I didn't get the bottom, I didn't cut all the way down to the bottom. Ah. Mm. Wow, it's delicious. So that was a little, little bit of an issue Whoops, for me. Did they say the first piece doesn't come out that great? Well, there you go. That's okay, though. So I'm going to use this. This is Cocoa Whip. This is a non-dairy whipped cream. Ah. And this is how it looks. I'm going to put this right here. <laughs> Not the prettiest pie. Hmm. But it's going to be the prettiest tasting because it's our pie, right? So let me take a taste of this. My non-dairy pie. Mmm. It's delicious. It tastes just like real pie. Real full dairy pie. 
<laughs> it's really good. It's cinnamony, creamy. The crust is delicious. Homemade crust is a thousand times better than store bought crust. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Delicious. <laughs> this Thanksgiving, make a pie. Don't buy a pie. Don't get anything out of your grocery freezer. Make a pie. You might surprise yourself. Might not be the perfect looking pie, but it'll be delicious anyway. If you like this video, please subscribe below and leave me a comment and a like. Visit my website at amylearnstocook.com. I'm also on Pinterest and Twitter at Amy Learns to Cook. Um. Mm. Mm. My turn. Uh-huh.